start to rise The energy fill the skies I say thanks for favor To wake up and hear me Welcome back to Good Morning Tobago on Tobago Updates. Viewers, you know that this weekend is the weekend where we have the finals of the Miss Tobago 2024 competition. And it's been, you know, sparking a lot of interest recently. And we saw how the semifinals went. And, you know, it's celebrating the beauty of the woman here in Tobago. But, um... We're going to be speaking this morning a little bit about the finals, but we're also going to be speaking about the Miss Tobago 2024 Designer Challenge. And so, of course, to, to, to have that conversation with us, we are being joined by Mr. Tyron Kerr, and he is a fashion designer of Kerr and Marcel Designs, and he is one of us. He is Tobagonian, and of course, you know, Mr. Christopher Nathan, who is no stranger to us, has been on quite a lot of times, and he is the CEO. CEO of Coco Velvet International and of course the director of Making Making Style Program. So good morning and welcome to you both. Thank you. Good morning. Lovely to be here. So I want to start with uh, Mr. Nathan just a little bit. Um, we're two days away from the finals. How are things shaping up? Everything is in place. We are ready to for show time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so just just tell us a little bit about what we can expect on Sunday. Okay. So the uh, Making Style program initially was for the graduation ceremony for the Tobago Youth Creative Arts Workshop, but we've extended it and there are three segments now, four segments in fact. So at 7 p.m. we will have the graduation ceremony and the certificates of participation will be awarded and presented to the participants of the workshop between 7 and 8. At 8 p.m. it's showtime and we start off with the Miss Tobago Beauty Pageant. We also have a segment for top model, Trinidad and Tobago, where one lucky Tobagonian model is going to be issued an international modeling contract to work in Paris, New York, London, and Milan. And then we have a fashion segment uh, featuring Tobagonian designers, which we call Tobago Fashion Collections. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are hoping that patrons come early because, you know, every time we have a show in Tobago, people will be late. So please come early. And for that reason, we have a pre-show. The pre-show starts at 5 p.m. and goes until 8 p.m. so that when patrons come early, they can browse the exhibition, which will feature art, jewelry, um, accessories, and clothing by local craftsmen and designers in the lobby of the Chopin Complex. I have a bombshell to drop today. Shall I do it now? Um, sure, you can do that now. <laughs> I don't want to steal the thunder away from Mr. Kerr, but we're going to get into him as well. So. Good. So, Coco Velvet International will be sending a proposal to Miss World Organization to host Miss World 2028 in the Caribbean, in the Eastern Caribbean, because it was held in Puerto Rico, uh, but never in the Eastern Caribbean. What we want to do is to be very strategic and systematic about this project. Okay. So firstly, we are engaging the Miss World Trinidad and Tobago Organization, they've already spoken to them, for their endorsement, support, collaboration, and cooperation, because we can't do this alone. Then we are going to send a proposal to the Ministry of Tourism. Um, the Minister of Tourism will look it over, see the potential in it, hopefully, and take it to Cabinet for approval. Once the Trinidad and Tobago government approves it, we are then going to um, send the proposal to CARICOM, Secretariat in Georgetown, and the OECS, because we are looking at um, doing this in collaboration with Barbados, Grenada, St. Vincent, and the Grenadines. Um, so we want to share the cost, because it's going to be a huge expense as well as the benefits, the tourism benefits, mm -hmm. because Miss World boasts 100 million viewers for the event every year. And imagine our islands getting that kind of exposure, the amount of tourism benefits that can accrue as a result of it. Because what we want to do, Coco Velvet, is to position Tobago as a hotspot for fashion and beauty event tourism. And this event, Miss Tobago Beauty Pageant, is our launching pad. Certainly, and uh, what a lot to look forward to. Indeed. And now coming back now to the event on Sunday and so on, now Mr. Kerr is going to be on display. So tell me about that, Mr. Kerr. Okay. Um, <laughs> well, I'm definitely excited. I'm looking forward to the show. Um, this is not my first time working along with Mr. Christopher Nathan. Actually, my first time would have been my first introduction to the fashion industry would have been as a model. Mm. And... I was trained by Mr. Christopher Nathan here. So that would have been my first introduction into the fashion industry. And then 
I also worked with him on the making, st the making style, then as a designer, mm. when I got into fashion designing, actually my very first runway show, I worked along with him as well. He was there training the models and getting the designers ready and stuff like that. And the show actually ran really smoothly. I was at ease because I knew he was at the helm. <laughs> you know, so, so yes. and you're back again on Sunday. What can we expect from you? Okay. Um, I like to think outside the box. Nice. I like to try new things. Mm -hmm. I actually won an international fashion award in the category of fashion innovation. I like to be innovative. I like to try new things, try new techniques. So you could definitely expect that from me. And of course, these are some of your designs on, on the screen. Yes, they are. I, I'd like to point out, but apart from him doing two gowns for the designer challenge, he's also doing a collection for top model Trinidad and Tobago. So we're going to see two collections from him. And, and tell, me, tell me about your, your designs and what makes your designs very unique and different. Okay, what makes my U9 designs unique? Um, some of the techniques that I use, some of the cuts that I use, um, I also like to use unconventional materials. Mm -hmm. Like, um, I won the Prime Minister's Best Village trophy. I won Best Evening Gown with a crocheted evening gown. And this gown moved just like an evening gown. She could have walked, moved in it seamlessly, and it was beautiful. Yes, so I like using unconventional materials and stuff. So, I mean, and then you're designing, like you said, two gowns for, yes. for the show on, on Sunday. And what has, it been, what has it been like working with the models themselves, the contestants? Um... Actually, I have not seen the models yet. <laughs> the yes. delegates, the delegates. So they are delegates. trusting you blindly. And yes, yes, they are. But this is <laughs> not my first rodeo, and I do have experience designing for delegates, for pageants and stuff like that, not seeing them beforehand. Yes. So we'll be doing a fitting at the Chopper Complex tomorrow. So that's the first time the delegates will get to see what they're wearing on Sunday. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so, so I mean, how, what does that woman do when you get to see your designs on stage being worn by these beautiful women? Um, it's definitely a wonderful and thrilling experience as a designer to see your work come to life on a stage and to see the way it moves and also the way people appreciate mm. your work because as a designer you pour your blood, sweat, tears and everything into these garments. These are your babies. You see them through from a first a thought in your mind, then to paper, then bringing it to life, breathing life into it. Yes. I'd like to point out um, something here because um, when we came to Tobago Cocoa Velvet International, our mission was to establish our headquarters here and help develop a thriving fashion industry here in Tobago. I've had some pushback from parents here in Tobago when we try to recruit their children to come to the workshop with a view to them continuing their studies at the Caribbean Academy of Fashion and Design and YTEP towards a career as a fashion designer. Mm -hmm. And there's still many stigmas in Tobago regarding fashion and modeling, which I think people need to get over. Okay? Um, we, we have successes from Tobago. When I was the consultant and program administrator at the Caribbean Academy of Fashion and Design, I went to good work high school and saw Delia Allen, people probably know her name now, who was a teacher, clothing and textile, invited her to come to the workshop. She did the same workshop that he did. Encouraged her to come to UTT. She studied for a Bachelor of Fine Arts in Fashion Design. She's now a global designer. Mm -hmm. So people in Tobago whose children are interested in pursuing a career as a fashion designer, please do your research and see that there's no devil thing in it, as some people have told me and also the models, because I'm very disappointed that we selected 350 participants for the Tobago Youth Creative Arts Workshop, and only 130 got permission from their parents. Mm. So over 200 
called to say that their parents would not allow them to come to the workshop for various reasons. Uh, we will be doing the workshop again next year. And this is the final workshop because I'm here to retire. So those of you who, who did not get to do the workshop this year, know that next year, 2025, mm -hmm. we'll be doing the workshop during the summer because what we found this year is that having the workshop in September, October, November is a bad time because that's when they're preparing for exams and all of that. So we're going to do it between July and August next year, mm -hmm. 2025, and the, we're going to introduce carnival costume design next year because your Tobago Carnival in October has great potential and we need to have a cadre of young designers coming up who can make the costumes every year. Certainly. So we'll be introducing Carnival Costume Design next year for the program. So quite a lot to look forward to. But of course, right now our focus is on Sunday and getting <laughs> to see our, our um, contestants up on stage because I'm getting to see who gets to take the crown. Yes, indeed. And go to Trinidad to represent Tobago at Miss World Trinidad and Tobago. And win that contest as well and go to Miss World mm -hmm. because our girls, our nine delegates are really strong and they're passionate and they have a killer instinct. Because mm -hmm. the last time Tobago was represented at Miss World and Miss Universe was 2006 and 2004 when Kenesha Tom did. It's time again. So 2024, Tobago, it's your time to shine. So give us, for those people who want to come to the show on Sunday and have not yet gotten their tickets, how can they get connected? Right. So because of that, because you know we last minute here in Canada, Tobago, <laughs> you will be able to pay at the door. So we're going to have tickets sold at the door at the show park complex from 5 p.m. on Sunday mm -hmm. and the same price. So there will be a $30 general admission ticket. There will be a $100 VIP ticket. And of course, if you want to come to the after party and the coronation ball, I won't say where it is. You will have to pay a 300 for a platinum VIP all-inclusive ticket. For those of you who want to buy the tickets, uh, they're available today and tomorrow at the Chopin Complex box office. Uh, the front desk at Comfort Inn & Suites, Ted Arthur Leather Collection at James Park, next to RBC Royal Bank, and the Violas, our, um, our hotel sponsor. And we want to acknowledge once again the Tobago House of Assembly Division of Community Development, Youth Development and Sport for funding the Tobago Youth Creative Arts Workshop. We want to acknowledge the, the Office of the Prime Minister, Sport and Culture Fund, for their contribution towards this um, Tobago Youth um, Development and Empowerment Initiative. Thank you very much for your support and as well, the Tobago Library Services who have been our host mm -hmm. and they have sponsored the, um, the location for the workshop and they were amazing. So I want to thank the Tobago Library Services as well. Great. All right, so viewers, well, you know where to be on Sunday. So we're going to be wishing all of our delegates best of luck. And we're certainly excited to see them up there and see who gets to walk away with the crown. So I want to thank you both. And we're certainly looking forward to seeing your designs on stage, by the way. Um, and hopefully we'll be able to, to know which one of those designs are yours. Yes, definitely. <laughs> hopefully the winning one. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> certainly, certainly. <laughs> All right, so thank you both for being on with us and viewers. I hope you have a safe and wonderful weekend in whatever you choose to do. And we will see you again on Monday. So bye for now. It's a brand new morning, rise up to a brand new dawn. And as the person starts to rise, the energy fills the sky. Hear my neighbor, 60,000 people strong